everyone, I hope you're really well. Happy Tuesday the 12th of December. This is getting so confusing. Just bear with me, it's just all a bit weirdy. But yes, it is Tuesday the 12th, I think, isn't it? Yes, we'll just go, we'll go with that. I have got a full day at work today. So yesterday was the nativity. Today is just a regular full day at work for me. So hopefully I'm having a lovely day. Things have started to get very festive in work. All our decorations looking really nice. I've got my work's Christmas due this Saturday, which I'm actually starting to feel a bit nervous about. Not because of the people, but because of what I'm going to be wearing and is it all going to be okay? And just all those kind of really silly jitters that I start to feel. So anyway, enough of all of that craziness. Let's have a look what I have got today. Number 12, number 12. Oh, I was just thinking we've not had one on the bottom for a while, and there it is. Oh, that was a bit weighty. It's almost filling it. Oh, hang on a second. Can you hear that? I hope I'm not doing anything bad to it. What do we think? Maybe like a facial toner? Or what else could be that liquidy? Eye makeup remover? Oh, it's so exciting to be able to actually have a guess for one. So there it is. And it is, oh, okay. I was pretty close. This is from Alpha H and this is their liquid rose gold. So limited edition concentrated skincare stuff. There's 50 mil in here. And I have had two of these in the past, not the rose gold, not quite sure what the difference is. I'm sure I'll find out in a second. But I have had the regular liquid gold, which is a chemical exfoliant for the skin. You do need to build up a bit of a tolerance to it, but you put it on like a toner, essentially like a toner step. Don't think you should probably really use it in the day. If you do, I think you need to use sunscreen, but I tend to just use it at night and then it just gives you that gentle sort of exfoliation overnight. You can either use it on its own and it gives you a more intensive exfoliation or you can put moisturiser on over the top and that just calms things down a little bit. So is it gonna tell me, is it just because it's got rose in it maybe? Is that the only difference? Combining aromatic botanicals as well as moisture binding ingredients, liquid gold rose Oh, I did actually say it the wrong way round. It's liquid gold rose, but liquid rose gold sounds like it makes more sense. Offers instant weightless hydration while still processing the unparalleled resurfacing and smoothing effects of the classic liquid gold formula. And then it just goes on to say, apply liquid... God, this is going to get me every single time. Apply liquid gold rose onto cleansed skin Alternate evenings, ah yes, yeah, so I don't think you're supposed to use it during the day. Moisten cotton pad with solution and apply to face, neck and décolletage. When the skin is touch dry, apply your preferred Alpha H moisturiser or serum. For an intensive treatment, do not follow with moisturiser or serum, which I think is pretty much what I said. And it does actually say on the side, this is an alpha hydroxy acid product. I like the packaging of the white one with the kind of rose gold coloured writing. That looks really nice. But this is a product that I do really like. And by the sounds of it, there is a bit more of a difference between this and the regular one. It sounds like there's also hydrating properties to this as well. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a go and comparing it to the one that I've tried already because that one is actually really nice and I should use it more because my skin really likes it. I always wake up with skin that just looks really, really good. So yeah, need to be getting a bit more of this back into my life. Right, look fantastic. Number 12. Should we go for the top? And no. Nope, it's got to be this one. Yes. There it is. Okay. Ooh. Doesn't feel like it's filling the box that much. And it's quite light. Yeah. 
it's not filling the box very much at all, is it? Yes. It's a squeezy tube, which could be anything, to be fair. And it is, oh, a product from Cordley, and it's their Vinosource Moisturising Sorbet for sensitive skin. There's 15 mil in here, and there's no information on the back? No. There's like a heap of ingredients, but no actual information about this product, so I have no idea. Moisturising sorbet would have suggested to me it's for the body, but the fact that it says sensitive skin is making me think, is it for the face perhaps? But then if it was for the face, surely they would have actually put some more information. I don't know. Right. Let's try a little bit on my hand. It smells quite pretty, I suppose. Oh, it feels quite nice. It's just kind of disappearing into the skin. It just smells like fairly nice skincare. There's not a lot in there that's making me think that it could be for the body. I'm guessing this must be for the face. I could be totally wrong. But because of how lightweight it is and how quickly it disappeared and the fact that there's not a great deal going on scent wise, that's gotta be for the face, surely. That's my guess anyway. Sorry, not a huge amount of information about that one because it really does not say. That's what it looks like. And all it says on the back is there's literally a ton of ingredients and some other little bits of info. So, yeah, no idea. If you know what this is and can help me out or you've used it, let me know in the comments. Chances are I probably would have Googled it, but I'm just curious if anyone has actually used this before and what you make of it because it does actually feel quite nice it's really sunken into the skin and my skin feels quite nice now and there we have it that was short and sweet wasn't it that's today's offering as usual let me know in the comments what you picked up if you've tried either of these products that i got today again let me know in the comments what you think of them but for now i will see you again tomorrow bye <laughs>